Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm vlogging after a very long time and I'm super excited but nervous at the same time because I'm flying with my three month old baby for the first time. Super exciting because my family is going to see him for the first time and he's the first grandchild on my side. So everyone is super excited and they've been waiting to see him because nobody could meet him due to the COVID restrictions. I couldn't go, they couldn't come here. So everyone's super excited and so am I. I have traveled alone several times, but this is the first time I'm traveling alone with him. I even avoid going out for shopping alone. I always pull my husband with me that please, please, please come along. But mm -hmm. due to some reasons, he couldn't travel with us and I'm really sad about it. And even he's really sad because it's going to be his first time without the baby. So I'm really hoping that it goes nice and smooth. Uh, but I thought I will take you guys along with me on this journey and let's see how it goes. Okay, so these are the three bags that I will be carrying with me. So one is obviously the baby bag. Then this one is just a spare bag with uh, his empty feeders, his blanket and all. I wasn't planning on taking this one, but then uh, I couldn't fit in all of his things in his little bag. And then of course my own handbag. Again, I was not planning on taking it. I was trying to fit in everything into the baby bag. But um, obviously there are a lot of things that you need to carry with a baby. And you end up taking more than what you plan on doing. Mikhail is all set to leave as well. I've just put a really comfy and loose fitted uh, night suit on so that he's super comfortable during the flight. And I'm, I have changed his diaper and all and I'm going to feed him in the car so that he stays calm during the check in and everything. So let's go. So today I'm flying out from Heathrow Terminal 5 and I will be inshallah landing at Islamabad International Airport and I'm traveling via British Airways this time. Okay, so my husband was with me during the check-in which was a great help and I just took three bags, one was mine, one was Mikhail's and one just had like random things like gifts and all. So I'm done with the security check and it went smoothly and uh, they didn't check things in too much detail. They just asked me to uh, remove the liquids and put them in a separate uh, case kind of thing. And uh, it was a bit of a hassle because I packed my bag and organized them properly. But um, obviously we had to get it checked anyway. So yeah, but the staff was being a bit helpful. So luckily it happened smoothly and I'm just glad that that bit is over. And now I'm just waiting for the fun part. So I'll just go through the duty free now. I absolutely love the Harrods in duty free because you can find some really good last minute gifts for your friends and family within like 20, 30 pounds. And I was traveling during Christmas time. So got to see the lovely decor as well. And I wanted to buy this for Mikhail, but this would have been an added thing in my luggage. So I just left it and you have some lovely options for gifting like teas and biscuits, special ones. And they had a lovely variety of dinnerware, tableware and cutlery as well as a few decor pieces, but too delicate to carry during a flight. So I'm not going to buy anything. I will feed him before I get into the flight because obviously I don't want him to get fussy when we're taking off. plane would be flying from gate C56 and we need to go there via train and it's just gonna take uh, us in two minutes I guess and uh, obviously if you walk all the way to that gate it's gonna take much longer so I think it's just via train. Final diaper change before flying out and this is my outfit for today I forgot to share it earlier and off we go to the plane.
So the takeoff went smooth. I just gave him a pacifier so that his ears don't get blocked and I just had to hold him in my lap. So luckily the seat right next to me was empty and I turned it into a nice cozy bed for Mikhail. I put my coat underneath him so it's nice and clean for him and a nice warm blanket on top of him because it was super cold. And we had our own little cozy space where they served the refreshments and the lunch right after. And I played Cruella while Mikhail was just chilling and playing on his bed. So for lunch, they served us a really nice chicken steak with veggies and a choice of buns and cheese. Along with a really nice uh, apple crumble pie for dessert. After this, I will be feeding Mikhail. And since I'm not breastfeeding, I have two options with me. One is the pre-made milk. Uh, by SMA and you can easily find it at any grocery store and request the cabin crew to warm it up for you and the other option is room temperature water which is already filled in the bottle and I've got boiling water in a nice thermos so that uh, it stays warm so I mix it up and I've already got the milk powder in a container already counted uh, with scoop after having the milk he just got really fresh the rest of the flight he was sleeping but this particular hour he just wanted to play and i just kept him busy with his toys and uh, he really loves this particular toy which is really creepy i find it very scary but he loves it and he really enjoyed the walk around the plane just looking around at people so three hours have passed and it's time for us to sleep four hours to go that was supposed to look cool Oh, we're about to land so final diaper change in the really cramped up toilet and it was just really tiny honestly but the toilet seat turned into a place for like the back and the changing table was pretty tiny but can't complain it's just remember that smoking is not allowed until it reaches the designated area you may notice that smoke is not allowed until it reaches the designated area you may not make and receive calls as well as using all data services on your handheld electronic devices so alhamdulillah we have reached islamabad airport safely and i just had a quick uh, covid test as well and now i'm out and mashallah it's such a beautiful airport it's shining and look at the beautiful truck out around the baggage area and luckily i got a porter who helped me out with the baggage he just took 500 rupees but now he's going to bring my baggage while i'll sit here and feed mikhail before the fun part begins and with that, the most exciting one month holiday began. Thank you so much for watching this vlog guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!